You know, like I, I honestly, I, I, I'm not. I'm a little bit surprised. I'm stunned by these term, these uh, turn of events, right? Now, I made a video a couple months ago about Konami. I'll have it in the description about how they essentially gave up on the Pro Evolution Soccer franchise, right? They decided to go free to play, which I understood, but. It was something that 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 annoyed me enough to where I, I I you know I pretty much said F it, I'm done with the game. But I didn't expect this level of incompetence from, from Konami. Now Prevalent Soccer is, is out right now. It is a free to play game. And it is right now it is being universally panned by by critics. And more importantly, their fan base. Right? The game is is being memed to hell for all the glitches, all of the the um the poor the poor overall gameplay. And it is currently the lowest rated game on Steam. It could be the lowest rated game in Steam history, but I'm not 100 percent sure about that. But regardless of all of that, the game the game launch has been an outright disaster. And it's something I, that even took me it took me a little bit by surprise. Now I already said that I was I was done with the franchise. I wasn't I wasn't going to I wasn't going to support it. But I but I didn't expect this level of I didn't expect this level of 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 uh, failure from Konami. Didn't expect it. You know what I mean? Like so, the game came out. Like I said, it, it it's glitter is littered with graphical with graphical. Um, with graphical um, glitches, it's um, it's like it just universally panned for his gameplay, and you can you can just see it. Like the game slower, like and Pez is is considered the more realistic um, game over FIFA, but even the like I look at the gameplay, the gameplay is slow. They have broken game mechanic. They remove mechanics from from the previous Pez games. And promising to put them back in, plus more stuff in a future update, and it's like, like what what are we doing here? And then and then it, then you know all the stuff that I mentioned in the pri in the previous video about how they completely conned us into believing that they were actually making a next generation um, football game. You know what I mean? They completely conned us, and and they turned it into a a mobile a mobile game. With um that looks more that looks more keen, at times looks more keen to a cell phone game than it is a next generation game, right? It, and you know obviously the features and stuff like that 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 goes without saying, but but we're talking about this level of incompetence. There 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 like I said the graphical errors. There's grammatical errors in the game as well, which is which is completely un which is a completely unacceptable, completely unacceptable. You know what I mean? It's 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 it, like, and the funny thing is, this is not the first time this happened to a game that I cared about, right? This generation, it happened to Street Fighter, Street Fighter Five launch um launch with no with really no feature, no, you know, with little, very little content. And it happened with Grand Turismo. Same thing, right? You, you know, little content. Both games, were tr what they were trying to do is extend the life the lifespan of this game throughout the generation. And to be honest, and to be fair to them, they did that. You know, people want to bitch about Street Fighter Five. At the end, of the day, it's a successful fighting game. That's what it was, right? You can bitch about the you can bitch about the game. You can talk about the the sales of the game. The facts are, the game is is still a success. Right, Grand Turismo, like I said, came out broken, but right now, I still think right now, as, at this point in time, in my opinion, it's my favorite racing game of this generation. Right, at least for me, you know, and and the game is it, the game is a success, and and everything like that. Right, looking forward to Grand Turismo Seven. But the, the here, but here's the main difference between those games and what I see from from Pez Twenty Two. Right, the 
even with this missing features, the fundament the fundamentals of those games were still rock solid. Right? I can I can play I like even back then I played Gran Turismo and you know despite all my gripes about stuff that they were missing, stuff that they didn't have, like the fundamentals of those games still felt good. Same thing with Street Fighter V. Right? When I look at this fucking P the PES game, right? When I look at this game, the game for a next generation game quotation marks looks like does does not look good at all. Doesn't look good. Right? The gra the the well the the pitch looks like dog shit. No grass, it looks like carpet. Right? Net physics, not great, but I can I can live with that. The interface, dog shit. Awful. This game don't look good. Right? And then I look at the gameplay. The gameplay looks slow, it looks buggy, it look it, it looks like a complete downgrade. From the PES game that we've had in the past. Looks like a complete downgrade. You know what I mean? And you have you have so many PES content creators are now moving over to FIFA. Because why? Because despite the fact that FIFA has gameplay that's not desirable for them, you know, at least they're getting a full game. They're getting a full game. And you give up this half-assed piece of shit. And 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 at the very least, make it look good, but you don't. It can't even do that. Can't even do that. And at least for and then the thing, the thing with me that I, I I get frustrated when some people say, "Give it a chance, give it a chance." Oh, they need more time. They had two years. He they had two years. The 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 little teaser tra trailer of Lionel Messi. You know, with the with the with the cool next generation graphics, um, quotation mark. They, we we waited two years, and the fact that this is what they this is what they introduced to us is garbage, and I'm not I'm not supporting them. Not supporting them. I heard I heard that you know, obviously they have obviously they have updates coming right, but honestly, it's gonna take a miracle. It's gonna take something very drastic for me to to jump on board. And I, I like, I can't, I, I don't know, I don't even know if that's going to be enough. I don't think that's going to be enough. And, that, and to me, I think, and I, I'll end it on this, because I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting very frustrated. Um, I think the thing that annoys me most about what they did with, with what they did with this game, it, it's essentially just the lying, um, this, this, this the, the, the deceit. Moving um, from 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 that trailer on onward, saying that oh we're we're gonna give you an update, we're gonna give you a 2021 update, while we work on this next generation game, and it's not that at all. It just it just it just that's not what it, that's not what we got. You know what I mean? It's 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 frustrating. Like it really is. You know what I mean? Every every time you go every time you go to a a a, a console generation, you look forward to to better graphics. You know, hopefully better, better animations, and all the other stuff. And we got, and we got none of that here. You get, no, you got none of that with with Pez. And then, like I said, the game poorly, poorly rated. Um, this it's a it's a joke. The series is a joke, and it's like, like man, like that. That's so that's so sad to see, the legacy that this game has. That this company has with this game, and to see it end up being a meme is 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 disappointing to say the least. But that's what you get when you have when you have companies who look who look at the bottom line, and and they decide you know what fuck fuck quality. We're just gonna make a game for money, and hopefully it bites them in the ass. Like I hope the game I I mean the game's already a failure anyway. I hope the game fails hard. And hopefully some of these other soccer games, um, whether it's UFL or whatever, can 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 you know give FIFA an actual challenge because because clearly Konami decided to 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 go the free to play route and they failed miserably. Damage is done, you fucking morons. Who we want eighty six? I'm out.